This is Toledo, Ohio, the city that never sleeps. Well, some people think it's sleep. No one's for sure. But I do know this. There was a time when Toledo was as wide open as a hobo's mouth at a pie-throwing contest. My name is Jerry Hammer. I'm a private investigator, a PI, a shameless, and I. Some people ask me, why do I do that kind of a job? I tell them, some people sell shoelaces, some people cut grass, some people make a real nice living neutering animals. I'm a detective. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. I used to work with a partner, but he bought it in front of a diamond dance joint in Bakersfield in 68. Since then, I work alone. I was where I usually was at midnight Saturday, my office in the warehouse district. That's when the blonde came to my door, slowly climbed the stairs, and entered my office. I'll tell you, I've been a detective for 40 years, and I've had plenty of blondes come to my place but never one like this. The blonde gave me a card to read, saying that his name was Todd, and if he talked, the sound of his voice would make my head explode. What kind of a sap did he take me for? I didn't believe him, but I believed his money. He was looking for a person named Jeromeo. He believed it was a kidnapping. There hadn't been any ransom notes so far, but something big was going down, and he wanted me to jump on it fast. After asking my sources a few questions, I learned Jerome Rio was often seen in a downtown club called The Ripcord on Erie Street. This is my first stop. I realized going in the door, I would have to be like a midget at a urinal. I'd have to stay on my toes. Excuse me, maybe you could help me. I'm looking for a man. Oh, well, you've come to the right place, honey. Looking for a certain special man. Where you find him? Yes, we understand. I'm a private investigator, and I've been hired to find the famous Jerome Logan, the highest rated TV star in Toledo at 2 a.m. on Saturday morning to Channel 5. Maybe you want to see this picture. Jerome Jerome really? Never seen him before. Never seen him before. Don't crack lies with me, you dummy. Yes, there's a problem here. I'm a private investigator hired to find a man, and this guy's giving me a hard time. I need answers. I need information. Well, why don't you leave him alone and go next door and look for Amanda? Amanda? Amanda hugging kids. Amanda hugging kids? Yeah, you can I'll go know. next door and I'll look for it. Thanks, I appreciate it. There. I remember you. I'd have to remember to thank that kindly proprietor for tipping me off about this Amanda Hug and Kiss informant. I'm looking for Amanda Hug and Kiss. Come on, come on, come on, I want Amanda Hug and Kiss. Will somebody tell me where I can find Amanda Hug and Kiss? <laughs> That didn't go so well. My prospects looked bleaker than a gerbil at a bathhouse. Hey. I hear what, you. What do you want? I hear you're looking for someone. Yeah, I am looking for someone. If you want to find someone in this city, ask the fat man. The fat man's back in town? Oh, yes. How do I find him? So, the fat man was back in town. This could be serious turn, a serious turn. The fat man, a.k.a. Casper Gutman, was one of the most sinister characters I've ever come across. He was known from Istanbul to Singapore to Beirut to Wapakoneta and Maumee. He had his fingers in everything. He was as dirty as a coal miner's underwear in January. And talking to him, I'd have to be like a blind man in a sex orgy. I'd have to feel things out very carefully.